Hey guys, it's me Paco, and welcome back to Bad Witch Books. I'm trying out a new layout of the my back my background. See if you guys like this one. So today we're going to be doing a my bookshelf tour. I have about three bookshelves. I have them separated by one is for contemporaries or romance books. One is for like my favorite favorite series, and then my other one is like my bigger one for fantasy and stuff like that. So. We're gonna get started. I'm not gonna go over too much of what the book's about. I'll give a brief summary, but we do have a lot of books, so I don't wanna take too much time on going over what each book is about. I'll probably do like the series, if it's a series. But yeah, we're gonna get started. I'll see you guys in a bit at the bookshelf. So this is my regular bookshelf that I have. The um, one you guys usually see by the videos. It's an older bookshelf. But on the top, we have a Maleficent Dragon Form Funko. I got this from Christmas for my dad. And then I have the Wicked, um, I think it's the Barnes and Noble Special Edition. Wicked Son of a Witch. My brother got it for me for my birthday one year. And then we have a Manon Candle. I forgot where I got this from. I think it's Fox and Wit. Or it's, oh no, it's, um, Mitra's Candles. It's a, I've had it for a couple, a couple years. And then I've got this in a Credit Exclusive Funko. And then I don't know if anybody else knew about the Ever After High, but I was obsessed with those for a little bit. And so I have some collected right here. They're pretty old. But yeah, let's get to the books. So this is the first shelf. My fun we have Maleficent, Evil Queen, Ursula, Catwoman from the Batman show, Widowmaker from Overwatch are on the first shelf. So we're going gonna to pull the books out one by one. That we have is the Percy Jackson, the paperback edition. It's the um, this edition, so it goes Lightning Thief, Sea of Monster, Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinths, and the Last Olympian. These are the um, anniversary paperback editions. Next, we have the Heroes of Olympus series, The Lost Hero, Son of Neptune, Mark of Athena. House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus. I think my favorite book in this series is The House of Hades, which is the sequel to the Percy Jackson series, where they introduce Roman gods and a Roman camp. And they have to fight you. Next, we have the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. These are about fairy tales that take place in space. They're fairy tales retellings with a sci-fi twist, like Cinderella's a cyborg and Rapunzel's in a satellite. I really like this series books on the rest of my I have which is the first one being Heartless which is a the Queen of Hearts origin story which is really good I like the audiobook for this and then we have the Renegades trilogy with Renegades being number one Arch Enemies number two and the last book Supernova I have not read Supernova yet but I do plan to um but I enjoyed the first two books they're about uh superheroes and I actually went to a book signing for this book for when um Supernova came out and I do have it signed it's by Susan Dennard, which is Sight Witch, the novella, Truth Witch, Wind Witch, and Blood Witch. I know Witch Shadow is coming out at, in February, but this is about a world where everybody has like a witchery, or not everybody, but like people, are, the witches have witcheries, which is like certain kinds of magic. Our main characters are um, Safi, which is a Truth Witch, and Azul, who is a Thread Witch. It's a really good series. I like it. I'd recommend it if you like high fantasy. And for fun codes, we have Regina from Once Upon a Time, Morticia from Adam's Family, Urza from Fairy Tale, Rita Repulsa from Power Rangers, and Princess Celestia from My Little Pony. Yeah, those are the fun codes for the shelf. The Let's cool get to the print series, the um, Folk of the Air trilogy, which I have the black editions from Barnes and Noble, the black cover editions. I um, these Folk of the series is really good. I think Wicked King was my favorite in it. It's about Jude Duarte who her and her sisters are taken at a young age to the fairy world by her parents' killer and raised by him because he was her, their mother's first husband. And it was a really, I liked it. It was, uh, it was all right. Good series. I think Wicked, yeah, Wicked King is my favorite in the uh, trilogy. Okay, the Shadow of the Fox series, which the first book is Shadow of the Fox. Soul of the Sword and the Knight of the Dragon by Julia Kakawa. This is a series about a kitsune Yumeko and a swordsman Tatsumi who have to deal with a scroll that every hundred or every thousand years, I think it is, can summon a dragon to grant a wish that changes the world. 
I really love this series. If you like anime, I'd suggest it. It's quick, it's fast paced, it's really good. And I just, I will constantly tell everybody to just read this series. It was really good. Carvel series by Stephanie Garber. Book one, Carvel. Book two, Legendary. And book three, Finale. I think my favorite book in the series is Legendary. This is about um, two sisters, Scarlet and her sister Donatella, who have to deal with this like magical, magical carnival game and um, the master of it, Legend. It's a really good series. Stalking Jack the Ripper series, which is Stalking Jack the Ripper, Hunting Prince Dracula, Escaping from Houdini, and Capturing the Devil. This series has to do with Audrey Rose and Thomas Cresswell as they solve murders. I like it. I've read the first book. I'm in the middle of the second book. I just have stopped reading it because I've been reading other stuff that's been on my top of my TBR. So I'll get back to it and then continue the series. I mainly got the series. I wanted to read it because I love the Fate Crate uh, plushie. And I'm like, I really want to get this, so I need to get the series and read it. But yeah, it's really... I'm excited to get into the rest of the books. I'm like, I've liked what I've read so far. Um, in, it is the Imperium Trilogy, the first two books, um, Fury Born and Kingsbane. They are about two girls, um, Riel and Ilana, I believe is her name. They are both uh, separated by a thousand years apart, Riel taking place before Ilana. And they are um, both have incredible power. And they are destined to either be the Sun Queen, the Savior, or the Blood Queen, the Doombringer. And, um, yeah, I really like this series. It's really good. I cannot wait for Lightbringer to come out at the end of, in the middle of October, I believe. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. And I love these covers. The Children of Blood and Bones series by um, Tomi Adeyemi. This is about... It is the actually called the Legacy of Orisha, but it's about um, a girl named Zili who brings back or has to bring back magic to her people once it's taken by the king. I really love these books. Um, the romance isn't my favorite in the books, but I l freaking love the magic system and the way that Tomi describes like the battle scenes and the way the magic is used. It's really good. And these covers are gorgeous. I love, especially Children of Virtue and Vengeance. Like, they're just both gorgeous. We have a Curse of Dark and Lonely and a Hearts of Fierce and Bo Broken, first two book in the Curse Breakers trilogy. The, they just announced the, or released the cover for the next book, a, ver a Vow So Bold and Deadly, I believe is what it's called. But it is the first book is A Beauty and the Beast Retelling, where the main female lead, Harper, is taken from our world and is taken to a, like, a magical kingdom to break the prince's curse it is really good i like it i like the second book a lot more and um i'd recommend it if you like fairy tale retellings and these covers are gorgeous the next shelf i don't have any fun codes on this shelf but yeah this is the next shelf we have we have is the beautiful by renee adier i do have the damned it is on my tbr cart which you guys will also see in this tour later um this is about a girl celine who flees paris to new orleans and it gets involved in like the uh court de lions and there's like a vampire element to it i really loved this book last year i'm excited to get into the damned it's probably gonna be my next read but yeah next is serpent and dove by shelby maharan this is about lou and reed a witch and witch hunter who are forced to get married because of a marriage of covert of convenience this has, um, it's really good. I like it. I love this series. I know some people didn't, but I love this book. I'm so excited for Blood and Honey. It is one of my most anticipated books of the year. So, and also this has the Fairy Loot Edition with the pretty sprayed gold edges. And Bruja Born, the first two books in the Brooklyn Bruja series. This is about some Brujas in New York City, which are mix, um, his, Latinx witches, which I'm really happy with i love the first book i cannot wait to start the second one i think i'm gonna read that in august um yeah it's really good i like the first one i i wish i could get the matching cover but this is the only cover i could find even when i ordered the labyrinth lost i still got this cover not the matching cover um i i just want the the matching covers book nerd problems the next book series i have is these um witches don't burn series 
uh, the first, I don't know if it's the duology or trilogy, I'm not positive. But yeah, this is the first two books. It's by Isabel Sterling, and it's about Hannah, who's an elemental witch, and witch hunters attack her coven. And I really like it. I like the first book. I have yet to read the second book, but I plan to soon. But yeah, it, um, it was good. We have The Forest of a Thousand Lanterns and Kingdom of a Blazing Phoenix. I don't know what the series is called. But um, these are a duology. The first one is The Evil Queen Retelling. And the second one is a Snow White retelling um, by there by Julie C. Dow. And I think it's East Asian culture. I could be wrong, but I believe that is what they are inspired by. I really like the first book. It was like, a, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, which is like okay rating. I'm excited to read Kingdom of the Blazing Phoenix. I plan to read a lot of these sequels I have to read next month. But um, I enjoyed it. I love these covers too. They're just both gorgeous. Throne Crier's Moon by Kadri Purdy, Purdy, Purdy. Mm, I don't know how to pronounce things. I love this cover, but this is about Annalise is a bone crier, which is like a ferryman of the dead, and I think his name is Sebastian. I could be wrong, but um, he his dad was killed by a bone crier when he was little, and he seeks revenge. And it's just about these two getting like entangled and um, have they they both want to kill each other, but they're like drawn to each other. I liked it. I gave it four stars. I'm excited to see what the next one has. Um, the magic system I thought was pretty interesting. But yeah. It's been, I think it's based on like French. Yeah, Cersei, my Madeline Miller. This was one of my top books of last year. This book makes me want to go to a forest and live my fullest witch in the forest fantasy. I, I really love the audiobook for this. I love Greek mythology and just this book was great. It was, it gave me all the like witchy vibes I needed to be like, want to just, like I said, go into the forest, live alone and just be a witch in the forest. You have the Aurora Cycle, which is the first two books, the Aurora Rising and Aurora Burning by Amy Coffin and Jay Kristoff. I like this series. Um, I gave the first one like probably four stars and the second one a 4.5. I'm excited to see where it goes. It takes like place with a space team and I really like the, not these two characters are on the cover, but um, the other members of the team. Uh, especially um, the ones we don't get enough from, like Scarlet, I love her, and uh, I like Tyler. What are there other Finland? I love Finland and Zila. I love Zila. But yeah, I like it. The humor. I like the humor in this book series. We have, I think this trilogy is called the Life Like trilogy, but it's Life Like and Deviate, which are the first two books in uh, Jay Kristoff's um, like sci-fi trilogy. It's young adult. I like them. I read the first book for um, book club and the second book when it came out. They're pretty good. It's um, really funny. That's what I'll say. Like my favorite character in this is Lemon Fresh. And I love the covers, like Deviate, especially pink, my favorite color. So the next series we have is the Nevernight series by Jay Kristoff. It is about Mina Corvair, who is a girl who plans to seek revenge on the people responsible for her father's killing. She is has the ability to control shadows, and uh, she went to a school for... She goes to a school to be learned to become an assassin in the first book. I am in... I've read Nevernight... But part of God's Grave, I haven't finished it, but I plan to. And then I plan to read Dark Dawn. I just love the Dark Dawn cover. It gives me Dark Queen realness. Like, I know people love, I, I love the UK covers. They're gorgeous. But I feel like the, the US covers don't get enough love. Because these are gorgeous, in my opinion. I have the um, Ember in the Ashes series. I have the first two books, Ember in the Ashes and A Torch Against the Night. I have read Ember in the Ashes, and I lov loved it, and I just need to get into Torch Against the Night. I don't know if I want to read it or listen to it on an audiobook like I did the first one, because the audio was really good. It had, like, multiple different narrators. But, yeah, this series is about uh, Lila and Elias, and they have to deal with, a, like, their country or the the empire they both live in which is corrupt it's really good i would i try i'm not gonna say much about it because i feel like you should go in just just go in to read it it's really good the first book was good and i plan to read the second one very soon i just need i don't know if i want to read it physically or try the audiobook these covers are also just gorgeous too uh, i i can't wait to get into the series i'm excited darkness for it darkness by katie rose pool which is about five characters and how they um all revolve around this prophecy and that some prophets left before they disappeared that like ruled the world this is really good i liked it i'm you i'm excited for the second one to see where it goes and it's i like the magic system was unique too for this one it was different and the world building was interesting and this cover is just gorgeous i love the like the red and shiny black or the black and the shiny red 
and the white. I just love that color combination for books. On this um, book shelf, and then we'll go to another one. I have not read all the books on this shelf as much as I have on the other shelves. But yeah, because this is like my millennials, um shelf. Two books by Mar Margaret Rogerson, Sorcery of Thorns and Enchantment of Ravens, which I just love the aesthetics of these books. Sorcery of Thorns has to do with Elizabeth, and she has like she's in charge of a library or she's an assistant in a library where they take watch grimoires and it has like sorcerers and stuff like that and then enchantment of ravens has to do with the fey i love both these books are really good they're like good four star ratings and I, this is the owl crate exclusive edition for the sorcerer of thorns but yeah i'd suggest checking them out they're nice good reads enchantment of ravens is a really quick um easy so like just fluffy read i'd suggest like a fluffy read by adeline grace this is about a girl who wants to become the queen which is a princess or it's not the queen it's the Aromancer, which is to do with soul magic. And then something goes wrong during her coronation or her, like, her um, ceremony to, like, prove she can be queen or something like that. And it's got pirates and stuff. I really like the magic system of this world, and I love the sirens. So I'd suggest you check it out. I give it, like, a three-star rating? 3.5? Gilded Wolves, which by Roshni Shnok... Roshni Shakshi? I hope I don't sound terrible pronouncing that. This is about a group of um, friends who go out and they're like treasure stealers. I think she's uh, the author, Roshni Shashi is Shashni. I swear I pronounced it better in my head. Um, she described this as national treasure meets attractive people. And I agree. I love this series. Hypnos is my son. And if anything happens to him, I will cry. And this is the beautiful Outcrate edition. I'm excited for the Silver Serpent, I believe is what it's the next one's called. I might give this a reread before uh, it comes out. First by Thomas Willer and Frank Miller. This is about Nimue, the Lady of the Lake. If she got, if the sword chose her instead from um, King Arthur folklore. I, I like this book. It was, it, I best described it if you're a comic book fan, like, and you know about DC's, like, alternate universe titles where like everything gets mismatched this felt like an elseworld or like if you're from marvel like an alternate universe retelling of authorian legend i liked it there's a netflix series the first trailer dropped i suggest you guys go check it out it's got, i believe got the girl from 13 reasons why is playing nim away and this series looks really good um the first book was i liked it and it does have artwork by frank miller it's not my favorite artist but it is good art so next we have Witches of Ash and Ruin. I wanted to like this book. I just, I couldn't get into it. I couldn't care about the characters. I don't know if it was just the audiobook, but I just didn't care for it. But it was, the like, there was stuff enjoyable about it. I gave it two stars, but I feel like they just, uh, other people could like this book. It's about, like, this coven of witches who have to deal with witch hunters in Ireland. And the magic... And the way they describe the witch stuff, I liked. It just, I don't know if it was the characters for me, but I just couldn't connect to it. Two books on this shelf that we're going to talk about before we go to another shelf. The Shadow Between Us by Tracy Levenseller and The Guinevere Deception by um, Kristen White. The Shadows Between Us is about this girl. She, what is her name? I read this a couple months ago and I should still remember the name. Alessandra. But her goal is to marry, woo, go to court, marry the Shadow King, or like, yeah, woo the Shadow King, marry him, and then kill him. I really liked this book. It was good. Uh, it, yeah, I just, I enjoyed this. It was, I'd call it like a random Netflix movie you put on that you ended up really enjoying. It was really good. I liked the romance. And it was, it, to me, it featured real, morally great characters. And then next is The Guinevere Deception by Kristen White. And this has to do with if Guinevere goes to court, not only to be like be his wife, but to protect him from magical threats. I like the magic system in this book. And like, I am a fan of um, Arthurian lore. I know a little bit about it. And so I like the, w the way this was twisted and turned. It wasn't twisted as much as it is in um, Curse, but it was really good. And these are the Fairy Loot and Alcrate editions of the book. So we're going to go to my next shelf, which is, like, my favorite shelf, and it my, like, shelves that has my favorite stuff in it. Those are going to be really popular series, um, just heads up already. Like Sarah J. Mass. I have some, I have my Cassandra Claire and Lee Wardugo shelf. But we're going to head over there right my now. My favorite shelf. 
Um, the Funkos I have on this shelf are Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh! And my friend Emma from A Throne of Books on Instagram, she made this custom Lou Funko. I suggest you guys choke it. Go check her out. She also made this pillowcase, or I got this pillowcase from her Etsy shop. Fire Breathing Bitch Queen, a Sarah J Mass uh, pillowcase. So I'd suggest you guys go check out Emma. I love her stuff. But yes, we have Sarah J Mass books in the like exclusive covers I've bought in them. Then we have our Cassandra Clare shelf. And then we have our Lee Bardugo shelf. Yeah, so let's get closer looks on the shelves. And I don't know if any book nerd, other book people have these issues where you just have stacks of random books. So for the first three books we have on this shelf, we have these um, Sergei Master on a Glass. It goes the, we have, it goes this way. I mean, this is the first one. This is Assassin's Blade. We have Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight. These are special, all these covers are for the Throne of Glass series are the special edition from Fae Crate um, done by, I believe it's Gabriella Busco. I love, I love her art. She's one of my favorite artists, um, fandom artists. So uh, you guys should check her art out and I'm gonna put the rest of the series. You're gonna see the rest of this book series done in Era of Fire, Queen of Shadows, and Empire of Storms. And this has Rowan, Manon, and Lysandra on the covers. I think Queen of Shadows is one of my favorite in the series, if not Kingdom of Ash. But I love, look at my girl Manon in this. It's so gorgeous. And Lysandra, and Rowan. And last, we have, for the Throne of Glass covers um, books, we have the Kale with Tower of Dawn and Elaine for Kingdom of Ash. Yeah, no, this is my favorite. My favorite also, besides the, like, Manon cover, is the Throne of Glass cover. Can we talk about Nehemia getting the love she deserves in this gorgeous art? Like, I love Nehemia. We have the Akatar special covers from, I believe it is Diana Ward... Bro, I don't know her Instagram handle exactly. But these are the Bookish Box Edition covers. And as of 2020, as of 2020, my favorite book, just to answer that question, is A Court of Mist and Fury. And my first ever book author event I went to was, and one of my most, like, prized possessions, is my, um, my Court of Mist and Fury signed. I went to the author event for this. I, it was one of the, like, my happiest moments of my life, but yeah. Um, Throne of Glass, I mean, Throne of Glass, the Akatar. Yeah, so like I said, favorite book of all time is probably as of right now, 2020, A Court of Mist and Fury. To finish off the last part of the front of this top of the shelf, we have A Court of Frost and Starlight, the novella for um, Akatar series, and the first book in the Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. I really love the, um, House of Earth and Blood. It's my top read of the year so far, and I'm excited for book two. Next we have the um, Mortal Instruments series, these editions. I have read the first three books in the series and I have not read the bottom three. I've read every other Cassandra Clare book besides the wrap-ups, the bind-ups, except for these these three right here. And I don't know if I'm going to just because these are not my favorite characters in the world. I mean, I love Malik, Magnus and Alec. I love Izzy, uh, Clarion's... And Jace just aren't my favorite. I don't know if it's because I tried watching the show and Clary irritated the living life out of me on that show. And I don't know if it's the character or the actress because I didn't have a problem with her in the movie. And she's not, I don't hate her when I read her in the books, but I think the like show just, I hated Clary so much in that show that um, I ended up having to stop watching it because I just couldn't stand her. But uh, I love everybody else. Like I love Isabel and Magnus and Alec are awesome. I mean, yeah, I'm probably going to try to read the bottom three. I just need to get, like, myself to do it. Next we have the um, Infernal Devices series, Clockwork Angel. It's a special edition. Clockwork Princess and Clockwork Prince. Um, this is, I think... It's tough. I really like the Dark Artifices. I love. I like this series a lot. I really like it. It's what got me into actually reading this series because I tried reading Moral Instruments. And like I said, I couldn't... I just... I didn't get past book three. But then, um... I got, I said, let me try this series, and I really liked it. I, this is, like, what got me into reading it. I loved Clockwork Princess, and, like, that, that epilogue, if you're a fan of Cassandra Clare, you know what about that epilogue. 
but yeah i love this series I have both copies of red school of magic i because i got it originally when it came out and then i saw the paperback so i'm like let me just match it with the old covers i kind of prefer the original covers they had i mean i like seeing it in person i like the new cover for it but oh i like this style and i'm like i know they're probably not going to do this style for the third one but i'm like i'm just wishing but yeah so i got the paperback so that if they kept the new style i would stay with it and it does match the rest of the series the dark artifices and i really like this series i like a lot of the like side characters in this series a little more than like emma and julian because i love kit and ty i cannot wait for the dark uh, Wicked Powers, I think, is what the series that they're going to be featured heavily in. I loved, 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 loved Kit and Ty. Um, and I also loved Christina and Diana. Like, those those are my favorites. I think Lord of Shadows might be my favorite Cassandra Clare book. It was really good. Queen, I mean, Queen of Air and Darkness is alright, but Lord of Shadows was really, really good. Really good. Let me say it again. Really good for their time. Okay. Um, let's get to the next uh, book is Chain of Gold, the uh, first book in the Chain of Gold series, and also Shadow Hunters and the Citizens of Downworld. I really wanted to check it out, and I like this book. It's got art by, uh, it's got her name on it, Cassandra Jean, and it's about like all the characters from each of the series. Like there's Max, and it's got it like pairs them each with a flower, Lavender Rose, Enchantment. Yeah, no, I really like this. It's a nice book. It's cute. I love the art style. I like looking at the characters when I'm bored. Yeah. So that's, I just got that randomly. Um, and then, of course, Chain of Gold. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the series. I wish I liked it more. I gave it, like, I think four stars. I was really hoping it would be five stars because I like the characters a lot. just wish it needs more Anna. I think I would save it for me. Give it, give it a five book. Give us more Anna. We need more Anna Lightwood in our lives. We have Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Rune and Rising. I'm not the biggest fan of these new covers. I got it as a Christmas gift because I had read Six of Crows and I wanted to read the series before um, King of Scars came out last year, I think it was. Yeah, last year. So I, um, yeah, I just powered through these like in a month. They were, they were really light reads, but not bad. I, I think I love Six of Crows more. But yeah, I, I mean, these covers are alright. I, I wish I had got the originals. I prefer the original covers. On the shelf, we have the Six of Crows duology. I This is actually the second copy of Six of Crows I had to buy because I had lent it to a friend. She hasn't read it, and it's been years. Yeah. 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 And then Crooked Kingdom. Um, I love this book. This book had me, like, reacting loudly at work. I was, like, slamming the table on my break, like, no. <laughs> what no yeah like, like i was the twist had gotten me and then we have king of scars and i did go to this event for um lee bardugo this like i said i did get this one signed by miss lee, Gar lee, lee bardugo and last lee bardugo books i have is ninth house i lost this cover battle to a sticker i hate that i lost that battle that cover battle this book is dark I was listening to it on, audio, on my audiobook and my headphones at work. And let me tell you, I was not ready for some of the stuff I was reading about at work. I was like, ooh. It was just dark. I loved it. It was good, but it is dark. If you, you didn't, if you tried to read it, just, there's a lot. You should look, you should look up into it to see if you were ready to read it. Because this is dark. Okay. So next is, I have some special editions I keep on this shelf. And I will show you guys of, of Throne of Glass and the collector edition of uh, Throne of Glass and a Court of Thorns and Roses. I love them. They're beautiful. And then I have the Fairy Loot Chain of Gold edition, which is gorgeous and just straight edges of sword, Cortana. Really good. Okay. So next we're going to look at my TBR cart. I'm not going to go fully in depth to my TBR cart. And I'm probably not going to go fully in depth to my romance cart, my romance bookshelf, just because I'm barely getting into romance. So these books are just like... They're, uh, it's unorganized. You just need to look at that. But, um, yeah. We're gonna check out my TBR cart. This is actually, I could just probably turn you guys to see my TBR cart. <laughs> this is, um, I keep it on my cart. It's the Elaine plushie that came with the, uh, it's the, uh, Fae Crate. That's where I got the covers from with the, this plushie. But yeah, this is my, um, like, immediate plan to read. I have Cinderella's Dead. 
I need to show it. Cinderella's dead. Y'all are seeing Taco in his real list right now. Um, Justice League Dark. The Damned, which is probably going to be my next read. I'm so excited to read this. And then I have Girl Serpent Thorn, the Fae Crate Edition. I'm excited to read this too. This looks good. They all look really good. And then I have some like books that I plan to read. You'll see a lot of these from my top five books I want to read by the end of the year video on here. This is my romance and contemporary, like my miscellaneous bookshelf. I do have comics up here and I do have like the Disney Jasmine, why'd you go to fall like that? I do have my Disney Princess Fun Coast here. So Mulan, Jasmine, Belle, Cinderella, Elsa, and Elena of Avalor. My comics, I have some book covers. But yeah, we've got like red, white, royal, blue, get a life fully brown. I love get a life fully brown. But yeah. Slay, I talked about this. Great book. And then a I love this too. Those two might be in my top 10 books of the year. Unorganized, but yeah, like I said, this is my unorganized um, shelf. But yeah, this is- So those are my bookshelves. I try to keep my bookshelves organized by like the themes and the um, vibes the books give off. I know some people do rainbow shelves. I would love to do a rainbow shelf, but I don't think I have the like mental capacity to do a rainbow shelf. Um, but let me know what you guys, like I said, what you guys think. Please check out my friend Emma. She has great stuff on her Instagram or her, um, in her Etsy shop. She has Funkos, custom Funkos. She does pillowcases and candles, and I believe she does pins, and I think she just started doing buttons, and I know she's trying to do a advent calendar. So go check out her stuff at a Throne of Books on Instagram or Etsy. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of moi. And please enjoy your guys' day. I post new videos every Monday and Friday. And stay wicked.